Welcome back. With cleaning products flying off the shelves, distilleries across the state are now stepping up to help supply the demand. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espayat shows us how one local microbrew is rising to the occasion for some nonprofits who need it most. From wine <coughs> to hand sanitizer, Jacob Ledig donated his homemade wine to help Jack as distilling make this disinfectant. I heard they were making hand sanitizers, so I figured I could help. Hopefully this will carry them over till they can get more to suppliers. The three owners of the micro distillery are making batches to donate to local fire departments and nursing homes in the area. It's becoming very scarce and hard to get and we just felt it was something we should, could help out with. Just like the limited supply of hand sanitizers, Zimmerman says it's hard to find the supplies to make it. Their batches are made up of only three ingredients, high proof distilled alcohol, hydrogen peroxide and aloe gel or glycerin. Here we have some of the final product. When you spray it, you might smell the alcohol, but don't worry, that smell will go away. And they use the glycerin and the aloe to keep your hands from drying out. Jack As are bottling the supplies in wine bottles with labels. Then the recipients are putting them in more suitable containers. In Spring Glen, Rachel Espayat, Eyewitness News. The Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau is allowing distilleries to make hand sanitizer and cleaning products without a permit or inspection temporarily as long as they follow the guidelines. If you would like to uh, donate any products to Jack Az, that's A-Z-Z, -Z, <sighs> distillery to help them make more hand sanitizer, we'll have the number to call posted on pahomepage.com.